As always, we have many problems. Welcome back to Captain of Industry Update 2. We're playing on a crazy hard map that I created myself. That is sort of Paris. You have the Ile de la Cité over here. We have connected the Ile de la Cité to Rive Droite with the first bridge that we're building over here. With cool custom surfaces and all of this. We haven't connected yet to Rive Gauche. We're gonna need to work on this. But more importantly, as I said at the end of the last episode, we've basically taken out all of the coal that was above ground. So now we need to start an underground mine. So that's what we're going to do over here. I do have a bit of a problem that I don't really have right now a lot of concrete slab to build all of these there. So we're going to need to be quick with this. But definitely it's a problem. Look at my coal. It's almost uh, at zero. Coal is necessary for the diesel. So we could have a diesel problem. It's necessary for everything else, right? So we want to get started on this ASAP. But as I said, we do have also a second problem, which is my loan payment is overdue. You may remember in the previous episode, we did a quick loan for me to both show you this new functionality, but also because we were very low on those construction part level two and needed a, a few ones. So we still have 52 that we need to repay. And we have now a debt that hasn't been paid. You know, we we're supposed to give 13, 25 days ago. The reason we didn't is because, you know, to repay this, you need to have those construction parts in your trading dock. You can see it over here, right? It is uh, overdue. The reason it hasn't been delivered is because over here, I put off, you know, it can't be sent. So that wasn't a great uh, <laughs> thing on my part, you know, this should be on. But I think in this case, what we're gonna do is just given that I have 90, let's repay the whole thing right away. So that way, I don't know, Currently, we need to repay four more somehow, but go. That is done. So we've repaid the whole thing. That is great. And with this, by the way, our credit score also improved. It used to be 25, now it's 27. So hopefully we're going to get better contracts in the future. I mean, I can. The other thing I want to do quickly is given that I need concrete slab to do these retaining walls before we dig too much, I'm going to switch over here in my construction part factory. I'm going to switch this to bricks because we are actually making a lot of bricks. So that's not a problem here. We're just gonna put bricks and bricks and should be fine. So now the bricks that we're making over here are gonna be sent to that factory. So then in terms of underground, you know, in the mining designation, instead of pressing F to be flat, like I did in the past like this, now I'm gonna press F to go down or sometime it may feel like you know it is like this basically going up in this case just press q that's going to start going down it's similar to all of the things in the game right if you press e it's going to move to one level up if you press q it's going one level down so basically that's how you want to be right if the soil it has level three you want to go to level two like this then level one level zero etc you can go very deep right the problem is the deeper you go the soil that is just outside like the soil that's here and the soil that's here it's gonna start falling down and so if i start digging for example a lot over here basically what will happen is the soil that is under this irrigated farm will start going down and then the irrigated farm will be destroyed or even worse later my city over here so we obviously don't want this to happen and this is where the retaining walls will come into play so what you want to do is start putting you know retaining walls over here at the surface level right that way all of the soil that is on this side will not fall right it's going to be blocked by this wall then at some point you know if we dig too much we're going to need a second row of retaining wall but i'll show you that when we get to it in this case over here you know i'm just saying we start at level three we're going to go to minus one which if I'm not mistaken, should be totally fine for this one retaining wall. And then we can start really digging into the coal. So I really need to start digging again because the reality is I'm not gonna get coal right away. I need to dig all the way there to get coal. So let me actually also take more excavators while we are at it and put them on this. Okay, it is ladies and gents, a few minutes later and we have gotten to the coal. We've actually gotten to so much coal that you can see we have a lot of trucks waiting full of coal. Here this is basically full of coal. This is back to full of coal. So we are in a good space. Right? I can't complain. We definitely also can now take less of these right. Um, I mean even three is gonna be too many. Let's stay with two. Let's put only 
five trucks. Uh, so how are we doing there? Two is fine. Here one seems to be totally fine. So let's add more over here. Because, you know, as you know, we're cleaning a bit this part. And I've also started to clean this part. That way we would have space for another farm over here. And I also want to, over here, start the second bridge. We want to get to this other island here. It has a lot of resources, in particular sand, but it also has a lot of space. You know, I'm thinking this is going to be in the future a uh, farming space. So yeah, I want to get there, which means we want to drop from level three to level two, and then, you know, start dropping things into the ocean. Talking about dropping, you know, we have actually basically finished this part over here to have enough space for a cargo depot. If I rotate it over here, you can see, yeah, we can put one cargo depot over here, no problem, all the way over here. So if we look like this, yeah, we can probably put two depots, uh, one going this side and one going there. So, of course, we're going to continue slowly but surely, for example, making this at level two dropping a bit there but more importantly i want to also continue dropping over here to make this flat and continue having space to move to the next space right i want to for example as i told you at the beginning of the episode we want to make concrete over here but before we make concrete i think it'd be good to move a bit into this space you know do a couple of research for example we have unlocked power generation level 2 which is giving us access to the boiler so let's go with this we're gonna build a boiler now that we have in particular a lot of coal because the basic recipe is using coal so let's go we're gonna build it actually i think just over here right is this not flat oh, there's probably just small things but let, let's build a boiler you know somewhere wait uh here yeah, we can place this one here because we need water and coal. So that's what I'm doing, basically putting the water there. Then we can put the coal here. Uh, so I'm going to leave three, maybe four space just to be safe. Right. We can even build a second one right way next to it. Now we're going to have 60 of exhaust. So if you look over here at the small star, oops, sorry, let me move this. If you look at the small one, this is 60. So that's not going to work. We can't put just one small stack here. But if you look at the big one, it's actually 600. We could put a big one, no problem. The only thing is it costs concrete slab we don't really have. So what I'm going to do is just put two of these uh, in the middle there. And this is going to enable us to create, you know, some steam, right? So that's uh, a good thing. Let's build this. Give me a second to build it. So we're going to use also a storage. Right? Maybe we can put the storage over here. This is going to be coal. We're going to want to make sure there is some coal there. Right? Let's put it priority eight. It's a bit more important than this, but it's definitely less important than this, which is my diesel. So let's do this. Then this is going to go at level zero like this. Oops. Okay, so we connect, we connect. Then this can go at level one, All right? Go on both sides, one and two. Uh, I didn't even check. This is 48, so this is actually one of these. Um, so that wasn't the best thing I just did. Basically, we definitely don't need two. We cannot have two, sorry, I mean, unless you have another one. Plus a pipe level one is also not gonna work. You would probably want a pipe level two in this case if you want to have those two on it, because this is 48, right? So let's do it slightly differently that like this. So this one will connect directly there. And this one will connect directly there. Okay. Then, as I said, we're going to want here in the middle two smokestack, one at the top and copy, rotate one at the top. And that's going to create this team. Now, you may know what we're going to do with this team. Well, you're going to power generation and you're going to see this high pressure turbine. So with this, we're going to take the steam and transform it into mechanical energy, plus also a bit of steam low. Right. So let's go. We're going to build this. 
now we want to rotate it to have the steam come this side right we are making 48 this is taking 24 so we can have two let's put a second one right to it and then we can connect right uh, why is it not connecting sorry my bad forgot that it was at level one no, that's so we need to do, 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 do it slightly differently so i'm so gonna go to level one here this and then up up and this is not needed good we have the steam low we're gonna need to do something with it but then more importantly what do we do with the mechanical power the mechanical power over here we can transform this mechanical power into electricity so it's a new way for us to make electricity without using diesel and also with less pollution there's still pollution over here right exhaust but there's definitely less uh, so you know we're making six and here six or so 12 right this is taking three so we can basically put four now make sure that you put them in the right way like if i put it over here this is red it's not connecting well right so just make sure it's the right way and we can copy copy good so as i just said this is going to produce electricity now now what to do with the steam low uh, remember you can just do a right click on it it's going to give you all of the ways you can make steam laws in this case you know this is what we're doing over here and also what can you do with the steam law right now to be honest there is nothing we can really do we can just send it into the atmosphere the good thing is it doesn't create pollution the bad thing is it's basically wasting it right in the future we will get ways for example with the cooling tower to transform the steam law back into some water with some loss but it's still better than nothing or more importantly with the low pressure turbine we can get even more energy out of this steam low but as i said right now there's basically not much we can do except uh, drop it and we just put a normal small stack okay so that should be working well it is not perfect yet because we don't have the mechanical power which will give us access to the flywheel I will show you why it's not perfect in a second but still let's build it we start with just one at this point you know there's no need to go crazy we'll make this and this and all of that okay okay it is ladies and gents this is working now so we have the coal and the water going into the boiler creating steam high and exhaust you can see the exhaust is this one over here, right? It's creating some pollution. That's not good. But then this uh, steam high is going into those two turbines, right? These turbines are creating mechanical power and also steam low, which is going this side. And in this case, it's white smoke. It's fine. No pollution. And then this mechanical power goes into those four power generator to create electricity. Now, each of those power generator is creating two megawatts. So in total, that's eight, right? Eight, that's great because right now we're only using around three. So this means, you know, we're not going to use it all in a sense, right? That does create one problem, especially with the fact that we don't have a flywheel, is that these things are basically doing a bit stop and go, you know, like it's full of steam and right now it's not doing anything. Now, you may have seen for one second, it created a bit of steam and then it stopped again. And when that happens, you have a very low efficiency. Basically, you know, turbines, they need some time to get started. And so if you start them and stop them all the time, they're not very efficient. You basically waste steam or in this case, water and um, coal. So that's not great. But we do have you know, something that can help, which is this flywheel. So let's put a flywheel again, turn it to the right side. Ooh, damn. Oh, that is bad. Oh, oh that is very, very bad. Okay. I made a big mistake here. <laughs> We're going to need to move the whole thing uh, by one tile. If I want to use a flywheel. That is bad. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to just build the second one next to it. Then we're going to pause the first one and just put a flywheel on it. But again, this is not great because now I'm going to have to spend more resources. Now, speaking about this, I do want to highlight 
that by the way if you go into the custom difficulty over here you have the deconstruction refund you can put full refund in this case you know basically it will sort of not cost us anything to move it but we are playing in the hard difficulty so we're not gonna do that okay a few minutes later we have built the second line i've put the first line because we definitely really don't need that much electricity right now but the key thing is we've added a flywheel a flywheel is basically like a battery it's a battery for mechanical power so what will happen is that instead of stopping because we're producing a lot more than what we need every single minute what will happen is those high pressure turbines you know they're going to work at 100 efficiency for a couple of seconds couple of minutes depending on you know your, your consumption so you can see that now they're working 100 no problem uh, every time you know every couple of seconds they're transforming some steam into power and then the flywheel is sort of slowly but surely getting charged getting full right you can see it's increasing increasing at some point it's going to get so full that they will stop but the key thing is that they did run for a long time you know at 100 efficiency so it is you can see we have put auto balance now they've stopped completely so now the flywheel will do the opposite where it will actually go um, use the energy that was stored there to make those things over here you know turn right create some energy and then at some point it's going to get so low that these things are going to restart so basically what is happening is it's still doing a bit of stop and go but as you can see it's doing instead of doing you know all of the time sort of 40 percent efficiency what is happening is that it's going very quickly to 100 percent efficiency it's going to fill this um, you know at 100 percent efficiency very quickly and then it's going to stop completely so it's a much more efficient thing and in particular if i add more flywheels you know you can add as many as you want as long as you have the space unfortunately i don't really have any space here but you know the more flywheel you you use the more it's going to be even more efficient because you're only going to restart this uh, every couple of minutes so yeah now we are in a space where we have all, all of our electricity coming from coal and water and we have actually also quite some time before we need to build a new one so the diesel generators that were over here and that were creating pollution plus using diesel which is also very polluting they have stopped now i'm not going to delete them i'm going to pause them um, but not going to delete them in case we, you know we have a problem with this one or we need just a bit more electricity than what we have we can use these ones the next quest that we need to do is to move into distillation stage one and stage two so this is over here in your crude oil refinery before we only had the basic distiller now we have distillation stage one stage two in the future we'll even get stage three now why would we want to do this well if you look at the basic distiller it's transforming 54 of crude oil into 24 of diesel if we look at the distillation stage one it's going to take also 54 it's going to make 48 medium oil then we're going to take this medium oil and we're going to make 36 so basically instead of making 24 of diesel you're making 36 for the same cost of crude oil so it's a lot more efficient and remember that the crude oil is actually quite limited on the map i mean if we look over here for example this deposit is already down to 37 percent so we're gonna build it on the other deposit that's over here if i remember correctly like over here the other reason why we're gonna build it here is that in the future we can have the oil come you know into a cargo dock over here right so that is a good place you know to build now to be able to build it though we're gonna need to make this area a bit flatter so i'm not ready yet so here it is i have built the most basic version of this we have the distillation stage one and then next to it we have the stage two right we have then a couple of other things i'm gonna have to explain and again as i said this is the most basic one we're definitely not going to keep it very long we're gonna improve it but i did want to show you you know where to start so we have over here the distillation stage one that's going to take crude oil and a bit of steam the crude oil is 54 like before so it is basically again three of these all right that's this pipe over there i just go over here then we're gonna need steam it's not a lot but still we need it <laughs> so we're gonna have a boiler over here it's a boiler that's going to take water and coal to make it so this is why you know we have the coal there and we have the water here that's arriving 
Now this is not so great because we're gonna need to bring water, there is ways to do it better and again this is the most basic one and it's actually starting right with the boiler creating a bit of steam. Then that's going to create medium oil, this is what's going uh, in the front, then heavy oil and sour water. The sour water is coming this side and it's going to just be dumped into the sea, creating pollution, so not great. Similarly, the heavy oil is going to come over here. We're going to burn it into this new building, the flare. It's basically burning you know, the heavy oil into pollution. So again, more pollution, not so great. But as I said, the key thing is we're creating medium oil that's going to go in the front over here. Taking a bit more steam is going to make the diesel right and a bit of light oil now the light oil again not so great we can't really do much with it um, in this basic version so we're just going to flare it into another flare and create even more pollution not good <laughs> and then the only good thing is obviously we're creating diesel so this diesel is going to go into this fluid storage to store and into this station the reason i put a station here is because you remember i do have a lot of uh, different vehicles here. I don't know why they are stuck actually. Sorry. What is happening? No place to dump the products. Did we already? Oh, yeah, we already basically made all of this full. Okay, so let's continue uh, uh, like this. And I guess I can also finish this part there for them to uh, dump. Uh, maybe we should also start now we'll dig there later let's dig continue to dig here so anyway as i was saying you know there is a lot of trucks working over here so it's good to have a station to help uh, over here directly so this is really bad because it's burning as you can see this is a pretty cool animation but it creates tons of um pollution which is not good at all so instead we're gonna try to do a bit better we're gonna do things with some of those elements now the sour water at this point actually we can't do much in the future we could transform into sulfur and ammonia so that will be a good one but for now we have to dump it on the other hand the heavy oil we can do something with it we can put it into a boiler gas not an it's not the same boiler as this one you have to research it a bit uh, later on where is it? Uh, it is this one. So it's not this one over here for generation 2, it's gas combustion. But with this one, so let me show it to you here. You're going to take water, but instead of taking coal, now we're going to use heavy oil or actually also we can use light oil. So this one from uh, that side here, right? So in a way, we're still going to burn it, but instead of burning it to just create, uh, pollution we're going to burn it to create steam and that will create actually a lot less pollution than before and it will also make us not use this coal so it's still not perfect but it's better in the future we will be able to do even better but unfortunately it's quite far into uh, this space there you know we have the naphtha here and we have the reforming and cracking so we're not ready for it but yeah, we have done at least this mission, so let's get the resources. This will also hopefully reduce a bit uh, the rate at which we use a crude oil on the map, because on this side, we are definitely slowly but surely getting to zero. We are at 31 now. The good thing is that now that we are using this for electricity, we're going to burn a lot less of diesel. So yeah, ladies and gents, this is definitely not perfect, but it's better than nothing. <laughs> I love how this one became green now. Uh, nice color. So not perfect, better than nothing. I will improve it offline before starting the next episode. I'm quite excited that we have moved now into this electricity that we started underground mining over here. And over here, you know, I've also expanded now. We have three of those assembly for construction part level one and two for construction part level two so this is increasing a lot quicker we still haven't started the concrete slab i'm sorry by the way i should probably use this to buy a few next time we want to discover a cargo ship on the world map and then repair the oil rig to have a cargo depot bring you know oil when this will be empty this is what we'll have to rely on i do want as i said also probably to start finally the concrete and i think it will also be a good time to move to housing level two because look we only have six workers and also a good time probably to start giving my people electricity right now they only have water and a bit of food but not even electricity so let's probably solve this